hello gemini how are you guys i hope you're doing well thank you so much for joining me okay so we're gonna go ahead and do a reading for the rest of the month whatever messages are coming in love finances okay so someone is going through a heartbreak here separation there's some type of pain going on with you gemini's all right so what does gemini need to know here please general reading okay what resonates with the rest if you're interested in a personal reading, please see the description box below. For the rest of the month, there is one more for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so we have passion, we have inspiration, we have a new beginning. Someone is feeling a certain spark, a crush here. We have Seven of Cups, Venus in Scorpio energy regarding a fantasy options. Oh, wow. And the Nine of Cups, we're talking here, Jupiter in Pisces. We're talking about dreams, wish fulfillment, desires. So again, the flame is still going on here. Um, and there's the Scorpio again. Death card. Major transformation, though, regarding this wish fulfillment. Things need to change. Purging with that. So let's see what's going on. We have the hangman, the idealistic type of uh, card here, Neptune. It's very interesting because it's been kind of a war lately with uh, Gemini uh, energy and Pisces. Because again, you have Venus uh, in your sign right now going retrograde. And then also there's been uh, your sun as well there going on. And Neptune is in Pisces with Mars. So this is actually to me, it's kind of connecting with, with the planets. Now, the hangman, what are you asking here? There's a certain idealism. There's a certain uh, looking at things in a different way, perspective. The hangman can be very much the martyr here, the self-sacrificers. So, wow. Okay, so who is your queen of wands here? Is this you? Is this the person that you are dreaming? Is this a person that you're looking here? Again, in a different perspective, waiting for in suspension. He's saying that this is what is going to get you also out of the hangman, uh, which is very nice because Mars will be going into Aries and he's going to give more of a action oriented, not anymore here the illusion or just passive type of energy, just going for it, taking actions. And this is um, what's going to help you. The Queen of Wands is very bold, very charismatic, boss type attitude here, very attractive energy. Why is this all happening? Wow, because of the tower. We're talking here about another Mars energy, by the way. We're talking with uh, the tower here, sudden changes, epiphanies, realizations. Of course, it's never easy. It's a tower. Things have to change. Habits, uh, thoughts, things, again, that have been built that don't work anymore. Whatever it is at the foundation of this, this is why this is all happening. It's time to move from this hangman mode and getting things in a different perspective. So what happened in the past, such, you know, this is a lot of major arcana here for you, Gemini. We have Mercury, which is your ruler. So in the past, there's been realizations, awareness uh, with, with the magus here or the magician. We're talking also kind of that mental capacity here to know that there's nothing here you cannot accomplish. It's just to be aware of it. Uh, what is in this situation that you have the tools available to make things happen? Remember right now you are in the hanging mode position you or whoever you're asking this is what you're going to be asking here for the rest of the the month and you are surrounded a lot by fire here with this energy so action oriented but also realizations and awareness a certain awakening type of energy uh with the magician okay so what's crowning you we have the nine of wands another fire energy so your thoughts are going to be about a very much standing strong here the nine of wands is very resilient very defensive energy but in the end it's again it's it's at number nine so we are talking about a completion here is that resiliency that i'm still standing strong i may be tired but the passion is still there Remember, we had the Ace of Wands here. So your thoughts are of not giving up. This is a moon in Sagittarius energy, by the way, for the ones that need to know. So you are going to uh, continue here, whatever you feel you believe, that idealism, and uh, protect again. Um, a little bit apprehensive energy, but you are going to be a protector type of, um, in your thoughts. Wow. By the way, Mars in Aries, <laughs> I'm telling you, Mars in Aries is going to uh, stay for the rest of the year here. 
and it's going to again give it a more of an action oriented type of energy it's very nice in a way but it can be very quick very assertive a little bit here impulsive as well but this is what is coming towards you gemini there's going to be an offer there's going to be a decision uh soon here with the two of wands is that energy whatever here you feel adamant about um making happen remember the magician is still influencing you in this way you know that there's between these two choices you are going to concentrate on one or you are going to put your all energy your intentions here so uh, if you've been undecided here or whatever this painful realization here or changes are coming in it's it's like a pathway with the two of wands something is coming here towards you that is going to make uh, you realize that this is where i want to uh, focus my attention in in now if we have been waiting remember we have the ace of wands for anything regarding work things are going to start moving along here uh, along in this situation so let's see what your attitude so we know this is your immediate future the passion is there intentions are set you have the high priestess look at you you have the high priestess you have the magician you have the tower and the hangman pisces energy so you have with the high priestess i feel like it's very intuitive you have been going within yourself here there's a certain telepathic connection as well for some of you uh, this is very spiritual very subconscious so you see yourself here again as intuitive very secretive and merging mostly with your subconscious side your intuition side metaphysical as well here very psychic abilities um in this situation you're changing okay so what is external to you the king of cups some of you may be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio this is external this is what surrounds you this may be how they see you in this situation now the king of cups again another very intuitive type of person very emotional though still in control here this person has feelings there's romantic feelings from the king of cups they're very empathetic very loving so what is oh my goodness the major arcanas what is here that you need to close to achieve the universe it may be someone long distance here you're looking at graduating you're looking at accomplishing something remember you are awakening gemini with with the tower the high priestess and the magician and with the university or the world we're talking about that graduation you're hoping whatever this destiny here that you are going towards if it is someone that is long distance here someone that you haven't finished business with oh my goodness how beautiful is this the ace of cups i think scorpio had the ace of cups too if for the ones that are dealing with the scorpio your uh readings are matching now the ace of cups is very much in your love a new opportunity a new beginning we have two aces here by the way fire and water so what is the best possible outcome that you're asking here the goal is again that you want to reach when it comes to this completion or again this uh type of coming in together closure but in the end he's saying just going with it allowing your heart to be open pouring those emotions out um, letting again being guided by love as well with the ace of cups kind of even in a way being okay to feel overwhelmed with your emotions because again you can see that the, the water is pouring out there so let's see that we will clarify the best possible outcome is a new love is a new emotion is being in love is this king of cups very much here offering that cup that is here all right gemini let's go one more round here and see One more, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, clarifications. The King of Pentacles is coming here with a Ten of Wands. The King of uh, Pentacles is carrying a lot here. A burden, a passion, exhaustion in this situation. It can be an earth sign, it doesn't have to. Very practical. Hierophant, Taurus energy. Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. There's a connection. There's a strong connection here. The Hierophant, remember, we have the High Priestess. And with the Hierophant here, we are, are talking about the yin and yang, the subconscious and the conscience coming in together type of energy. So let's see 
two people uh, mirroring each other, by the way. Oh my goodness. Remember uh, when that card fell in the beginning here that I said someone is heartbroken. So here we have, as I mentioned, the idealistic love, that love that hurts though, because again, Neptune is the self-sacrificer. So this is what you're asking for as you or whoever you're connecting here has been kind of looking in suspension here and waiting for something again that they feel has broken their heart here, yours in this situation. And if two people are going to be together, if the lovers finally are going to be coming together. The fool with the queen of wands. Taking that leap of faith, again, I do see, by the way, this is, the full does represent also an Aries energy that can be Uranus because it is the beginning and Aries, Aries is the first sign here. So in this situation, uh, I feel like waiting for that leap of faith, trusting. Uh, remember, we have the full at zero and we have in the past someone here that is number one, the magician starting over here. So taking that leap of faith, this is what can help the situation. You or again, the person that you are attracting here, it doesn't matter any type of if we're talking about female uh, or male here. It's that energy, that fire, passionate energy of the Queen of Wands here. Athena-like, if you want to think of it as, as that with the Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this tower, this epiphany, this realization, these big changes, this Mars energy, there goes the Sagittarius page of wands. Is someone here, if we're talking about an, an entrepreneurial, if we're talking about going with the flow, page of wands is that um, energy that I want to learn by experience. I want to jump in here, very adventurous, very type of, of fiery attitude. So whatever has been changing here, it's again for a new adventure being news, being social media, being, uh, again, interacting with someone here. That's what you want. But it's coming here again with painful realization or big changes or not a lot of stability here with the Page of Wands. Is it that some of you have gotten news that have surprised you? Is it because, again, the curiosity here of the naive Page of Wands that wants to explore? Whatever that exploration here, opening your mind, Sagittarius uh, rules the ninth house, higher education, um, we're talking about faith, belief, different cultures, different religious type of energy. It, again, if we're talking about this person that you're connecting, things are not as easy here with the tower. Someone has to kind of uh, drastically change here or go with the flow. There's the world, number one. And <laughs> with the magician here, we start actually with the fool, but the magi magician is number one. And then we have the world. Now, if it is whatever you want to accomplish is because remember, you have this in your hopes and fears. It is that destiny uh, awareness here. So in the past, again, you have seen an awareness of where you want to go. Your past very much may be your today here. We're looking for the rest of the month. But realizing here your destiny, realizing here with Mercury energy, what, you need to, what needs to um, be accomplished here, what needs to come to a closure, or how do I accomplish this? Having the tools available. My goodness, you have such an interesting reading, Gemini. Very, very interesting. But the, the North Node is has entered your sign too, and it's very about karma and destiny as well. And I say this because all of these major arcana is about fate. The Wheel of Fortune, here you are standing strong, not giving up, protecting what your beliefs are. Uh, and with the Wheel of Fortune regarding change, regarding faith, regarding the art of symbolism as well here. Very symbolic uh, type of energy with the Wheel of Fortune. Remember, you see yourself as the High Priestess here. All right, so what is this decision? Oh my, <laughs> the same card, the two of wands. Well, the, the universe wants you to know that's what is coming towards you. Here we have someone that finally makes their mind here, which way they want to go, the pathway, the offer, the token here in a way. It's the same card. Mars in Aries is going to, of course, all of you, uh, your, your chart is different. I would say go also and look at where Mars in Aries falls in your chart and see how that's going to influence you. But there's definitely a decision coming in here, um, a pathway. Intentions are set. The wheels are going to start moving. Okay, so remember we got the Seven of Cups before here with the Venus in Scorpio energy. So here you are, very mystical with the High Priestess, very... Um, type of uh, intuitive the seven of cups venus in scorpio though is all these things right now that you are drowning in these feelings or in this fantasy in these options matter of the heart in a way here and again you're holding back and you're trying to figure out here what is is this a spiritual connection what do you need to learn here 
and the king of cups here is coming with the nine of pentacles very independent with the nine of pentacles this is a very ambitious person a virgo energy here for some of you uh, that need to know the nine of pentacles venus in virgo i believe but with though we are talking that this is a very sensitive soul here and they're guided by their emotions this is very creative this is a poet in the same sense we're talking about the nine of pentacles that someone needs to look at things in an independent way be self-sufficient be free here to go after what they want again in in their life to to accomplish nine of pentacles can be very luxurious type of energy very detail oriented as well it's a virgo there goes the queen of wands you're hoping here for the queen of wands is this you as a queen of wands energy of course it's going to be different reading for all of you but there's something here uh, again about destiny that you're hoping for you already know and it's coming towards you it's just this is what you're hoping will will i be able to find my destiny will i be able to find for some of you here the woman that again i feel like is my mirror is my other half the woman the man whatever that passionate energy oh wow remember when i said two aces and we had the ace of wands and the ace of cups passion and emotions here inspiration by the way very creative energy remember the two of wands is coming the ace of wands is your outcome do you know here right now you're feeling the spark you're feeling the love you're feeling your emotions uh, are pouring out listen to that intuition which with the high priestess i feel like um you are and you are starting to go towards your destiny here uh gemini you are going to find it is the initial we're talking about aces it is a potential it's not something here um again that is at, at the end but remember the world is where you're going through that graduation that accomplishment that destiny is what you are looking so its intentions are set you're following right now your intuition you're following that spark you're following following here um that passion that you have in order again to to go towards the destiny being regarding a person in this situation or regarding any type of metaphysical here spiritual whatever you're interested with that high priestess energy okay gemini that was your reading for the rest of the month i hope it does resonate with you guys i appreciate all of you if you're interested in the personal reading please see the description box below thank you bye, -bye.